Thank you. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to thank organizers for inviting me to this very interesting symposium. Uh, it is my, of course, great honor to be the first speaker of this meeting. Today, I'm going to talk about single well, uh, a single lim singular limit of very popular Modica Molotora function, functional, but it's single well. And this is uh, usually people discuss double well case, but it's single well. And it turned out it has a very nice applications. I should apologize. Today, my today's talk is, does not include evolutional stuff. Uh, it's just a stationary. So, and this is a joint work with my student, Okamoto, and, and my former postdoc, Saka Kibara, and my former colleague, Uesaka. Okay. The content is as follows. Of course, we begin with motivation. And we are interested in sharp interface limit, limit and we study the, the property of weighted interfacial energy, which we obtain from sharp interface limit. And, he, and, the, and then we discuss maybe briefly the idea of the proof. And finally, as the organizer requested, I'll give you a, a few future direction of this project, okay? Okay, maybe this is a difficult read. So uh, we let's start with motivation. We consider two phases, one and two, separated by interface. So great. Do, do you, by the way, see the uh, arrow? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Or uh, this pen, it's also, okay. The two phase, one and two, and separated by interface gamma. And each phase has some structure, like average orientation, average angle, U1 and U2. And uh, this is a grain orientation. And it is natural to consider weighted energy, interface energy, instead of usual energy. The simplest interface energy is, of course, area of gamma, but it should be weighted with, uh, depending upon this, for example, length. And gamma is uh, some non-negative function, maybe monotonically increase with respect to variable. Uh, note that U1, U2, both orientation might be, may be, may, can, can change. And such uh, energy is already proposed by Kinderella and Liu, 2001. And, but there's another approach, the earlier than this uh, Kinderella Liu, is a, a something diffuse interface energy approach, and it was introduced by Ryo Kobayashi and Warren and Kata, 2000. Ryo Kobayashi was my former colleague in Hokkaido University. Now he moved to Hiroshima a long time ago. And uh, okay, this is the uh, energy uh, of uh, Kobayashi, Warren, Kata energy. And uh, this is a uh, sigma is constant, positive constant, and V square is a weight. And this is a singular, a single modica molecular type energy. Let me explain. Oh, uh, this is, let me explain briefly. I cannot hear anymore the speaker. Sorry, do you hear? Yes. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is a potential energy. This is Dirichlet energy. And this is the sum of potential energy and Dirichlet energy, but this potential energy is just single well. And this such energy is called single modica monotora functional. And my basic question is what is the limit energy as epsilon tends to zero? And the conventional L1 topology tends to be too weak for this singular modica monotora energy. Since many there are many Italian audience, so this 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 part this part this function is very very popular in, for this audience, by the way. But today I'm more mostly concentrated this this single word case. So if epsilon is small, so let me explain the very heuristic of this Kobayashi Warren Carter energy. What happens? And V is something order parameter. And if epsilon is very small, 
okay? If epsilon is very small, then uh, we would like to be one. Right, this is only just the no two values, that's just, just two, no new two, two bottoms, just one bottom. So it would like to be a one. And uh, in large area, to mean so would like to one in a large area. But in such place, you would be like to be a constant. So in such place, if we is close to one, we would like to minimize gradient, mod gradient U. This is total by weighted total variation. So this would like to be a zero. So you would like to be a constant. But this place is in some sense ordered place. The place where we are close to zero is a diffused grain boundary. This is this ordered place. Sounds like that. So this is a disordered place. So where this is here, V is close to zero. And here, this time V is close is one and V is equal to one. This is a very uh, rough heuristics. Okay. Okay. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a very simple situation, sharp interface limit about for one dimensional problem. Uh, we'd like to make this epsilon small and what happens? Of course, in this particular problem, all minimizers are just zero and everything disappears. So it's not so interesting maybe by this particular one. If V is, v is equal to v, v minus one, but let me review a few things. If V is equal to double well, a uh, single well, this is a typical case. And if we is double well, uh, this is a uh, this is a more popular. And the epsilon, uh, this epsilon is small parameter. And of, uh, does the minimizer combine to the minimizer of some limit energy? And what is the limit energy is a very very fundamental question. And uh, of course, almost audience know this one maybe, but let me say briefly the definition of gamma convergence. Gamma convergence uh, originally due to zero, to zero is very convenient to discuss the convergence of energy. This is a gamma ring convergence. And uh, we, it consists of two inequalities. One is the infinite inequalities. That means if V is combined, if V epsilon combines to V, then always E V is less than the limit inf of E epsilon V epsilon. So this is a limb inf inequality. Limb sup inequality is not, uh, not, not just uh, replacing limits, limb inf and sup. This says for any V, there is a sequence W epsilon combines the V such that E V is attained as a limit. So the second condition, and W epsilon is often called recovery sequence. And uh, this, the, if there is only one condition, such first condition, if energy is positive, all, all, all zero energy is uh, just a, a limit. So this is not so, this is not, uh, this is not so good. So we have the second one. And uh, of course, the second one is energy should not be too small compared with limit. So there is an attainable that it can be approximable by choosing suitable sequence. And of course, this concept depends on the choice of topology for the convergence, right? So this is, of course. And of course, the merit of gamma, gamma limit is if your epsilon minimizes out of your epsilon, then the, if limit exists, then e, uh, the limit is minimizer of E. Of course, often we need to check the compactness to prove U epsilon to U for some F U, of course, but this is basic merit of this notion of convergence. So in the double well case, it is very successful. For example, if U epsilon, if you impose, for example, volume constraint, otherwise it's not so interesting maybe, if you have volume constraint, then U epsilon to E, and E is uh, in one dimensional case, uh, the number of jumps, the value of u is either one or minus one. Of course, the average should be zero. And this u is just uh, the number of jumps. And this is, uh, we take the limit uh, almost everywhere, or uh, for example, L1 limit, L1 limit. So, and C is uh, the computable constant, which I did not write here. And this is going back to Modica and Montora, 
and uh, one dimensional case, and this is a higher dimension, so this is 1D. Dimensional case and the higher dimensional case is uh, proved by Modica and Peter Stanback independently, in, in high, including higher dimensions. And in that case, this jump should be replaced by area of interface. And something like that. Okay. So, but anyhow, uh, in double work case is very well studied. Uh, what's the problem for single well potential, single well case? Consider omega is just an interval, uh, uh, bounded interval. And uh, let, let me put, let me define E epsilon sub B is just uh, the single well modica motora plus this kind of uh, value. So this is a value, a square of value at zero times positive constant with B positive. What is the limit as epsilon tends to zero? It turns out this L1 convergence to two costs. Oh, this is a rather clear because if you talk about L1, oh, this is a negligible. So it does not say anything. So what is the limit as epsilon? L1 convergence to two costs. What is the correct good convergence? But before that, let's check very simple example. Okay. Uh, we consider the, oh, we consider the minimizer of this E epsilon B and V is in, uh, in H1, right? And take minimizer. And this can be calculated explicitly for F is equal to V minus one square because Euler Lagrange problem the equation is a linear equation. So this is maybe uh, undergraduate exercise for me and you get such kind of a solution and you can prove W epsilon zero at zero is one, one over one plus B and the energy limit is less than B, uh, B over one plus B. And this is a B is the energy, which is if V is equal to identically one, this B is the energy, but this is a limit energy is actually smaller than this energy. What kind, what is a smaller energy? Okay, this is a, this is a graph of minimizer. If epsilon is a 0 0.1, this is red line, right? This is there. But if epsilon is 0 0.01, this is a blue line. And if epsilon is 0 0.001, this is a green line and it looks like uh, letter T, right? And so the point is W epsilon tends to one, almost everywhere, sure, except except this point, W epsilon combines to one uh, almost everywhere, uh, or even uh, uniformly outside this, outside the neighborhood of zero. But uh, we, we have to extract finer structure to, to, to get such a limit, because otherwise this is just one, and this is not so interesting, right? You have to find such kind of things. And I think the bottom should be, one B plus one, right? Oh, I did not write B here, by the way, but anyhow, this is a, a picture. So what is our problem? Our problem is what is the suitable topology to catch the above limit? And is it possible to prove the gamma convergence under such limit? Okay, let me uh, mention some related problem, and, uh, which is uh, well studied. This is uh, what is called Ambrosio Tortorelli functional. And, uh, and this is uh, actually proposed to approximate manhold schach functional. manhold schach functional is uh, following. This is a uh, uh, variable is U and K, K is set. And this is a uh, alpha is constant and uh, H, n minus one uh, k major and omega uh, outside k, we have DDC energy and this is a fidelity term, G is given. Okay, and uh, let's see. So this is uh, in some sense uh, uh, proposed to uh, have image segmentation and k is a line to uh, cut. So minimize this line also, 
this is the outside, it must be closed. Of course, this should be uh, uh, balanced, this original image. Okay. So, uh, and okay, the problem of this, okay, this is uh, from mathematical point of view, it is very interesting, but from a practical point of view, it is very difficult to minimize this, uh, this function because of, uh, because one of variable is a set, not function. So Ambrosio Tortorelli approximate this uh, stuff by introducing following energy, which is very closely related to our energy. The difference is, okay, the fidelity term is a minor things, but what is important is here is a uh, Modica Mortora single well, Modica Mortora, and we have another term, DDC energy term, and, but this is DDC energy. So this is a weighted DDC energy. In our case, weighted total variation, but this is weighted DDC energy. So it's a different, but it's a very related. The chat. There's a problem. Could you please check? Microphone is closed. No. Uh, we we see correctly. Did yeah. you did it you was... hear me? Yes yes. yes. There okay. was some noise extra, but maybe there was some. Okay. 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 My computer becomes very hot, so just give me a few minutes to. Yes. Very warm. Just a second. Yeah. Fun is too, too noisy. Sorry. Okay. And uh, I mentioned several other applications very briefly. And this kind of Ambrosio Tortorelli type energy is, is used to study brittle fracture, for example, by Frankfurt and Maggi, uh, Maggio. And uh, Steiner problem, for example. So, what is the application of our study? Okay, our study is uh, 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 is very useful to study Kobayashi Warren Carter model proposed by Kobayashi Warren Carter two thousand, and this is a uh, Kobayashi Warren Carter energy. Yeah, definition of Kobayashi original definition of Kobayashi Warren Carter energy, and uh, this is a uh, is different from uh, uh, different from. Uh, Ambrosio Tortorelli, this is now total variation instead of, instead of uh, DDC energy. So in some sense, Ambrosio Tortorelli put uh, weight uh, to make the total uh, DDC term inhomogenization, in in inhomogenization. So this is a, uh, can be regarded as Ambrosio Tortorelli inhomogenization of the total variation, not the DDC energy. Originally, EF should considered, of course, and Rosio Tortorelli in homogenization of DDC energy. So what's the difference? In the case of EF, the limit of EF has the same depth, which implies that set K is the final set for one dimensional case. Right. In our setting, in our setting, in our case, the depth of limit is not the same. It depends upon the size of the jump. So what's the relation between Kobayashi Ware and Kata energy? If U0 is a step function, so uh, let's see, heavy side function, then the Kobayashi Ware and Kata energy is exactly E epsilon sigma which we defined before. So I just, uh, I, yes, this one, All right? So if the one jump is just, so what is a suitable topology we have to use? So think about just one dimension, and let omega be an open interval, and let gamma, <coughs> sorry, let gamma be, uh, no, it doesn't work. Let omega be open interval, let gamma be a set value, my pen does not work, so I just start with this arrow. 
let gamma be a set value function on uh, on omega. That means set the set values, and the set B is a gamma which is bounded and closed in omega cross R, whose graph is bounded and closed in omega cross R. So that's this is bounded upper semi-continuous set value function, by the way. The graph gamma is as you expect. Okay. So the what is here the definition? We say gamma j converts gamma under the graph convergence if the house of distance tends to zero. And if gamma j is just a singleton, so this is just a graph of usual function, we simply write gj tends to gamma. So this is a about set valued function. I, I, I refer just a set valued analysis book by Oban and Franz Frankowska. This is a very nice book. Okay, and think about singular modica motor energy with this extra term. And F is a continuous, and, but if V is just minimum uh, and positive, non-negative, and it's zero only at V is equal to one. And, and we don't like if V tends zero at infinity. So this should be uh, positive. And uh, let's let then the limit is actually to be a, a function uh, to, to express this limit under the graph convergence. Under the graph convergence, we we uh, we prepare this kind of stuff. Uh, limit singular modica motora, and this is xi is a set valued function which I explain uh, next slide. And G is uh, I, it's also popular and and uh, uh, double well potential case. This is square root, uh, integral of primitive of square root of f. And this and this uh, e f zero b is adding this b, and this is a minimum value, uh, plus part of minimum value. And here f plus not the positive part. Okay, what is A0? A0 is a very key word. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, too much. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes. And A0 is a set that she is a, a bounded upper semi-continuous graph and gamma x, uh, sigma uh, xi x is a, a, single, a single value one except countable number of xi and Xi x i is just interval, closed interval containing one. And what we uh, uh, say is if we epsilon is h1 and we, if we epsilon tends to xi in the sense of graph, then uh, then this is among b, right? Not a0, this is a b. Then this limit is a lower semiconductor. In particular, if this is bounded, then this xi is in a0. If the right hand side is finite, so this a is a zero is something like this is one except countable number of xi. Uh, in super inequality for any xi, there is a sequence w epsilon which is a combined graph in sense in xi such that this limit is actually attained. So this is a, a one of the main theorem of our work, and uh, here's a typical graph belongs to A0. So this is a one except finite many uh, countably many points can be densely distributed. And then the Xi minus Xi, Xi one and Xi plus is interval, closed interval. So this X1 is a place where Xi has a, a not single tone value. This is a uh, set value, non, non, whose, whose value is non, not singleton, just interval. And this is a uh, form. Okay. So for any Xi, the, uh, okay, so this is our result. And uh, let's then go back. This is a uh, G and uh, counted in Xi i minus and Xi i plus. So you can imagine such kind of picture. If you have the limit is something like that, you measure this part twice, this part twice. Okay, if you have, this is a, some uh, vary, vary like that, then this should be counted double. So that's the reason we have two, okay. 
Okay, and we have also compactness. If we had some uh, non degeneracy at space infinity, and if the single monitor motor energy is bounded, then there's a sequence, some sequence which some sequence uh, which combines to gra uh, in the graph sense, uh, graph topology for some she belongs to A0. And so as a corollary, we have a convergence of minimizer, of course, since this is gamma convergence class. So a minimizer of we have subsequently converges some element C0 in the graph convergence, C0 uh, minimize this E0B SMA. Furthermore, uh, C0 X is one, if X is not equal to A, A is a place where V0, V0, is, V0 is measured, VA is measured. Right. Yeah. And then uh, this interval can be, uh, uh, this value is a set value, P01, and the P0 is a minimizer of this P plus P, P plus square, with P in between zero and one. And this minimizer can be actually explicitly calculated. If FV is a monotone uh, increasing for V, greater than one and the monotone decreasing in V less than one, then G is convex. So that GP plus B squared strictly convex for B is, B is greater than zero. In this case, the minimizer is unique. And if FV is V is equal to one square, so that GV is equal to V minus one square over two, then it is easy to calculate this guy. And its minimizer is just P0 is one over B plus one. And the minimal value is B uh, one over B plus one. And this is exactly, we recovered our example, right? So this is a correct limit, I hope. And what is the singular limit of Kobayashi Warren? Kata energy. So ours are a little bit simplification, but we can also prove, uh, we can also prove that uh, we can also uh, find the limit, single limit of a covariance one and cut energy. And this is a, a limit shape. Uh, U, uh, U is a original gradient, U. So U is, a, U is a, in some sense, angle parameter, angle parameter. And the para V square is now missing. This order parameter is missing as epsilon tends zero. And this JU is a jump discontinuity of U. And uh, this is a uh, uh, the mini, uh, smallest value of Kshi, Kshi uh, at, at each point. Well, actually, this is in, in one dimensional case, okay, this is sum, right? This is a countable sum. And uh, this is uh, our answer. Here, JU denotes a set of jumps. Okay, one dimensional result we have already uh, mentioned. This is a uh, Juno Kamoto the way subscribe together with me. And uh, its power paper is already published in advanced and characteristic variation. And higher dimensional cases more involved. I, I do not mention today so much on this stuff. Okay, and uh, let's see, uh, we define, okay, uh, let me show one application, interesting application. Let me write, let me take minimizer, Xi, with respect to free cobias one and cut energy with weight sigma, with, with constant sigma is equal to one. And if we set GB is just a minimum value of this guy, then this is a, as a function of B, this is a, a concave, by the way. And then uh, Kobayashi Wara and Kata, and a total variation in the sense of Kobayashi Wara and Kata is something like this. This is the usual total variation and the JU is a jump set of jump discontinuity, but jump at the jump discontinuity, this is a J, Z, G hat, U plus minus U minus. And uh, in my choice, G, B is, G hat B is B over one plus B. And note that usual total variation is just uh, uh, if you take uh, jump discontinuity, uh, this is total value so outside jump discontinuity, but jump discontinuity, you only find that this difference between uh, two, 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 two limit. This is upper limit in the sense of, uh, in the sense of, uh, in the sense of measure, in the sense of measure theory, geometric measure theory. And this is lower 
limit in the sense of major theory. So this is a, you will find a difference, right? And G hat is a total variation. Uh, it's a uh, it's a function of with respect to jump, but it's not uh, like a uh, simple form. We have to some divisor. And consider, uh, uh, compare, let me compare with the uh, usual total variation. Consider omega is just interval, and u0 is 0, and u1 is h. Oh, sorry. Then total variation, usual total variation, no matter how this step is, or no matter how your function is, provided that it's monotone increasing, the uh, total variation is just u. But for, sorry, that for uh, total variation in the sense of Kubai's one and Kata, the big jump costs little. And if you have M jumps with equal jump size, then Kubai's one and Kata, uh, total variation of Kubai's one and Kata is uh, of course easily calculated, right? And you see this is, uh, if M is equal to one, this is smallest, right? So it's, a, it's quite different. And uh, this total bias energy is considered as a weighted interface energy if u is constant outside jump discontinuity. Note that singular limit of bias variance can be extended to multi-dimensional case, which I did not mention today. If u has only two values, u1, u2, then bias variance energy, uh, total variation energy hat u1 minus u2, the difference, gamma. Right. And uh, multi-phase case, uh, if you, oh, sorry, ah, this is fine. We have, we cook up with such kind of uh, energy, even the multi-phase case. Okay, uh, to, uh, let me give you a few words about the uh, uh, graph, uh, higher dimensional case. And uh, there's a work by Fonseca and Liu, and uh, this is a, uh, 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 they studied the uh, weighted uh, Ambrosio Tortorelli energy, singular limit of um, Ambrosio Tortorelli energy by introducing notion of slicing argument. And this is a slice, which I might be skip. And we, the, 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 the difficult part is the uh, definition of uh, topology. We are, in some sense, it's a sliced graph sense. So this is a countable dense set in the direction, and the new is a direction, set of a new is a direction, and the gamma x new is a one dimensional slice. So this is a gamma xt x plus t new. And this is a, this omega x new. And omega nu is just a project, project in the set. Okay, so, and B, D is, okay, the topology is you fix the direction and then you define the household difference of each slice, a graph of each slice, and then you can define such kind of things. And for countable dense set, we can define uh, this graph. So you can define metric and you can introduce the graph convergence and then we simply write that one. Okay, and the limit set by the function is, and then uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't have enough time to mention, but we have a similar result, but the major difference, we don't have a good compactness. So we, we yeah, it's, it's a weak, the result weaker. So I think time is not enough. So I, I would like to skip, I would uh, skip. Uh, detailed proof. And the idea of proof is for higher dimensional case, anyhow, deduction to one dimensional problem by slicing argument. And of course, it's involved, but uh, the idea is somewhat, somewhat related to the, for example, paper of Monseca and Liu. And one dimensional case can be proved by unfolding. This is a quite, quite new idea. And uh, one dimensional case, we consider I. This is maybe a simple new idea. And uh, we introduce occurrence parameter of graph curve. So this is occurrence parameter of the graph of u. U is C1. The inverse function always dips and the constant is always less than one. This is important. 
and uh, we introduce the notion of unfoldings. Unfolding is uh, uh, we we just look u and the occurrence parameter s, which is defined in the, the length. Then what is good news is you if u is w one one u is repeats and the repeats constant u is always less than one, and total variation the same. And the limit is the limit of unfolding is of course since it always exists by taking subsequence, and uh, and uh, this total variation uh, the lower semi-continuity. And that this is a property of uh, V the limit. Uh, soup, okay, this relax limit is a maximum value of V at the same x. Okay, maybe it's better to skip. Okay, this is better. Okay, or if you have shown something like that, and uh, then V is in some sense unfolded. So this is a very u becomes very such kind of very sharp, but uh, this v is unfolded, and we have such kind of uh, stuff corresponding to each point. Right. So this is a picture of v. So if you look the v, you you can find detailed behavior of u epsilon as epsilon tends zero. Okay, so you can uh, estimate from below by yeah, yeah, by using V carefully, then you get. And proof of removing inequality is using everything we translate in V. Then you safely get the result. We skip it. Okay, now it let me explain future direction. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, there's a, uh, we, we have compactness result in higher dimensional setting is missing. So we should find suitable compactness in higher dimensional setting. This is the first problem. And the second problem discuss the convergence of its gradient flow. This may be related to conf this conference team. Okay, here is the original Kobayashi Warren Carter flow for epsilon. Uh, originally Kobayashi Warren Carter proposed their equation uh, as a gradient flow of Kobayashi Warren Carter energy, but setting epsilon is equal to one. All right. And tau zero and tau one is positive parameter. And what is interesting is V is equal to, we have such weight. This is very important eventually. Formally speaking, at the limit, uh, this Xi, the behavior of Xi should be a, a stationary, something like that. So this is a gradient flow of uh, epsilon kubai uh, and kata energy with respect to weight, weighted L2 norm, this weighted L2 norm, whose weight depends upon solution. It's a well poisonous, it's still open problem, right? So people studied modified problem. Uh, no one solved original problem so far. So people study modified problem. So what is the modification? There are two modifications, uh, three modifications. First of all, uh, this V degeneracy, uh, V is equal to zero has a problem. So that's what we don't like. <coughs> Second thing is <coughs> V square. Again, if V is equal to zero, then the total variation part is also degenerate. So th that we don't like delta prime. And finally, oh, this is a very, uh, in some sense, degenerate elliptic, degenerate elliptic, which we don't like. So add small parameter nu, right? So this is a, a way. And global existence solution is by Ito and Kemochi and Yamazaki. Uh, but uniqueness is only for nu positive. Shirakawa and Watanabe and Yamazaki and other, this group studied a lot on this issue, right, in several cases. And anyhow, this kind of modification, tree modification, and uh, uh, is done to avoid degeneracy, or yeah, this is avoid degeneracy in many senses. So it is widely open. What is the singular limit as epsilon tends to zero? 
For a two-phase problem, the solution of Allen Kahn equation combines to the solution of the mean curvature flow equation. This is called sharp interface method. And Epstein and uh, Chun Liu and uh, Mizuno, Mizuno uh, prove, Masa, Masashi Mizuno prove, uh, 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 prove no, studies uh, to, gradient flow of total variation covariance were in Carter type, uh, including triple junction. But in their case, it's also considered a variation and a horizontal variation, the curvature flow. So curvature flow with weighted energy. And the weight depends upon the, depends upon the distance of angle. So it is, a, it is a not clear or, or whether our limit gives us this sharp interface motion or studied by Epstein and Liu and Lisa. They also study, of course, well poseness of this problem. So this is a this is a problem. So I think it's a good time to stop instead of uh, taking very detail. But uh, yeah, it's nice time to stop. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. So <clears throat> thank you a lot for the interesting talk, and I would like to know if there are questions or comments. Uh, on, uh, on this nice talk. Uh, if I may. Okay. Yeah, Yoshi, thank you very much for this uh, interesting uh, uh, talk. When you have triple junction in this model, uh, we, we would have uh, uh, angle conditions there as well, and they said as the um, angle conditions which take into account the weights of uh, of the of the interfaces. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You are you are asking the question about uh, uh, Epstein and you and the Mizuno model. Yes, when you have okay. also junctions. Yes. Yes. Uh, they consider okay. They derive the model, uh, especially okay. They consider energy right with the. Uh, uh, with weight, depending upon the angle, angle condition, and they studied uh, 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 they take variation and uh, derive uh, variation in uh, both U and uh, interface motion. So interface variation. So their equation, and they also uh, consider the uh, motion of triple junction, right? by trying to minimize, trying to have some minim, minim, minimize. And then, uh, so they, they derive such equation and so curvature flow equation and uh, 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 evolution equation for weight and uh, evolution equation for, for triple junction. And they prove well poleness, uh, I think local well poleness, I think. But the problem is, uh, they always, okay, for well poseness, they always study that uh, the interface, uh, weight of interface does not vanish. This is a very important assumption. While in our derivation, kubais and kata derivation, the in, uh, weight, uh, weight of interface becomes zero if the two angle is equal. So if the two angle is equal, uh, the, the no energy barrier in our case, while uh, uh, Chun Liu and Mizuno and uh, and uh, Epstein case, there is a still there is some uh, some weight remains even if two angle uh, agrees. I hope uh, Professor Mizuno is here. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. So we study about the, uh, my name oh. is Masashi Mizuno, one of the author of uh, some paper. And uh, we study about the triple junction with uh, a, mean, a mean curvature flow equation with, with uh, miss orientation parameter. So miss orientation parameter is, uh, 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 no, no, we consider somehow, somehow gradient flow of the miss orientation. Miss orientation is depending on time and, uh, uh, we and uh, we study the and also we put, 
we consider the triple junction drug that is a, a we consider somehow like a dynamic boundary condition at the triple junction. So we study about the verposeness uh, with the relaxation limit of the curvature flow. So we consider uh, in in our cases uh, the gra uh, grain boundary is just a straight line, straight line or straight line segment cases. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So this is a story. Yeah. So this is a very baby stage, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Giovanni, yeah. can you hear you? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, other questions or comments? Yeah, yes. Michal, Krem. Yes. yes. Uh, hello, may I? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, okay. So thanks for the talk. Uh, so <clears throat> I think uh, if you if you talk about Kobayashi or and Carter, uh, I understand that your U is actually uh, you're thinking about maybe the, the angle of orientation of these yes. crystal yes. grains, right? Yeah. Yes. But but yes. like to be to be maybe more precise, it should be some uh, orientation vector from some yeah, 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 sphere yeah. or maybe project or maybe projective yeah, space yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like this. Did, so um, did you also consider uh, maybe working in this kind this of is, setting or? Yeah, no? this is a very very interesting question. Originally, Kobayashi and Warren Carter, uh, even paper mentioned, I think uh, U is uh, actually frame valued. So it's SO3 value, for example. And uh, even one dimension, it is S1 value. So I was, uh, in some sense, not at this uh, stage, just very primitive. It's a good direction to extend such kind of case. Right. So you did not uh, yet start doing it? Uh, I did not, we did not study, but I think this is much more trackable, I think, even if mm. there's uh, in the level of this uh, uh, convergence stuff, stuff. But we, I do not try. This is a good question. Yeah. So you think maybe the, the, the unfoldings and so on could, could pass to this? One, uh, one D case seems to be fine. One D case is a very special. But right. what is uh, nightmare is something like uh, this compactness for several dimensions, which is completely missing, even, even R valued. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is a limit? In one D case, this in some sense very complete. We we know the complete picture in one D compactness. So okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Uh, so I think maybe there are more questions. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Other comments? May I? I do have a question. Yes. Oh, thank you. Please. Um, I, I was wondering in the one-dimensional case. Um, the, the graph convergence that you introduced. I got the impression that in a way, this is almost the same as having a slightly augmented BV convergence for the function where you sort of keep extra in addition to the BV, keep trace of the values on countably many points. Because uh -huh. the graph sort of gets reproduced by the difference of the traces. You know, you have a trace from the left then you go up to another value, then go down to, to the value of the uh -huh. on the other side. And I, I, this way I might be able to sort of draw the okay. this, this uh, Maybe I simply did not know. Yeah, so thank you very much for your comment. It's a- uh, I, I don't uh, know. I, I was wondering whether this is true or whether I'm overlooking something. Yeah, so you may augmented VB convergence. So yeah, so just keep, also keep the limits of the, the values of, of countably many points on the interval. This is exactly uh -huh. where, where your graph function become, loses single values. And then maybe uh -huh. this is enough to, to, to reproduce the graph. Uh -huh. This is one dimension. In the 1D case, yes. I, uh -huh. have, I have no idea. Because this can be possible maybe, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for your comment. I did not, I did not know this. Uh, yeah, this uh, no, this is uh, square. So no, no, no. Uh, this is what it is. Oh, no, even before. Yeah. So the convergence. 
we say is that this is a house of comprises. Of course, it is what uh, this argument to be we is not the same, maybe because uh, this we always assume graph gamma j is a uh, is a, in some sense closed and bounded and closed. So it might be different setting, but it's it's a very interesting question, which I don't know. I'm sorry that. Uh, Thank you very much for your very interesting comment. So you are saying that in the, the notion of BB, augmented BB convergence, which is very similar to this graph convergence. That's what you want to say. Yeah, right? so the idea would be that I basically have, have like at one of those points where you have your graph, I would have three values, like the trace from the left of the BB limit, the value that I kept traced because I, I just calculated the, the limits of the values on these points and then the trace from the right of the BB limit, uh -huh. limit. And that way I would sort of be yeah. able to draw a, a kind of spike like you have. Oh, I see, I see. So this might be much more general maybe than this one. This one is even, we don't need to study the BB, right? It's very simple. <laughs> That's the reason we use it, right? Yeah, but if, if the link is true and uh, like my, my intuition is not wrong about that, then this- Yeah, yeah but uh, thank you very much, yes. <laughs> Compactness relatively easily, for instance. Ah, can be, can be, yeah, yeah, because you are, you are, we topology is a little bit slightly weaker than this one, maybe. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions? So, may I ask you? Sure, sure. I, I, I might have missed it, but uh, uh, I wonder if we can uh, deal with the uh, function of the misorientation, which is the jump between the two faces, uh, which is uh, non-linear uh, somehow with infinite slope at zero, because this would be a very, uh, uh, very interesting for application in green boundaries, I think. So this G of the jump set. Yeah, G value. they use jump set, yes. GB yes. is a. Uh, this is linear uh, at zero. Yeah, this is not linear. Just be one. The, the finite slope at zero. Yes. No? Can, what, can what? you deal with something which has infinite slope? Uh, if, if, if the slope is infinity, this is equal to combined to one, right? Uh, no, no, no. What are, infinite, infinite jump? Infinite slope? Infinite slope. slope. Infinite slope. But infinite slope, some part of infinite slope is here. But uh, if infinite derivative, uh, infinite derivative at zero of the function g hat, yeah. I think. Uh, infinite derivative function g hat, yes. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, this is a derivative is a, uh, oh, function g hat is uh, actually uh, more precise. This is a, uh, you, you have some modulus. So this derivative, in some sense, ripsits, right? Near, near, near zero, right? Well, as far as, okay, I, I, because the, the reason is that uh, this would keep the, uh, your functions in SBB, no? So you don't relax. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If it's B, B, yeah, yeah. In some sense, it's B, B, Y, 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 Y. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is this, this U plus minus U minus can be a very big. This is different from usually BB function. In usual BB, this, 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 this value uh, cannot be very, very big, right? The difference cannot be very big. But while the, here the difference can be very big because G, prime, G hat can stay bounded, right? Yeah, this might, is a difference. And this difference will come yeah, to conclude something like that, okay? And this is, uh, in, in some sense, overcome some steer case issue of total variation, right? right. So I hope I answer your question. 